Hi faculty, I just want to say a massive thank you to all the children who submitted writing for our sentence stacking lesson, but it's finally here. I've put together all the writing that you submitted. I've taken little bits of everybody's, put it together and finally created the story, the present. Now, I put it together, but of course it was written by you. Well done faculty writers, and I hope you enjoy listening to it as much as I did. Take care. The sad little boy was playing on his computer. He was playing a game. He was more interested in his game than the outside world, but he had mixed emotions. His fingers were moving speedily on the controller. Suddenly, his mum came home. She'd brought the gloomy boy a present. The boy didn't look very happy because he wanted to carry on playing his game. He cautiously opened the lid on the box. He was very disappointed with his present. When he saw what the dog looked like, he cast it aside. The boy ignored the dog and picked up his controller. His fingers continued to slide and skitter across all the different buttons whilst the dog limped and stumbled across the floor. The more he played the game, the angrier he got Get lost, shouted the boy angrily, as he didn't think this present was good enough for him. Every now and then, the boy took his eye off the game and looked at the fluffy brown dog. But then, he went back to being lost in technology. Looking around inquisitively, the dog spotted a small bright red ball and bounded across the room to get a closer look. The giddy dog wanted to play with the boy and eventually the boy's lips curled into a joyful smile. The boy was curious about what his dog was doing with the box. The more the dog jumped and hopped around on the fluffy carpet, the more attention he got from the boy. Now the boy had a big smile across his face and his heart was filled with joy and excitement. The adorable dog just wanted to interact with him and run around swiftly. Growing happier, the boy realised that it wasn't the dog's fault it was missing a leg, so they bonded over their similarities. We will be outside, Mum, shouted the boy excitedly to the kitchen as they both hopped towards the door. The young boy's eyes lit up. <laughs>